you know, it's all right. Got that. <laughs> Episode four, eh? Wasn't gonna do one, but got excited because shipping containers arrived. Thanks, Kat, got me juice. Ready to go. Yoo-hoo! There she is. Good morning. Loves the camera. <laughs> Hello, Zabby. <laughs> what do you reckon? Oh, good. Well, it's Step. good? Yeah. Step. <laughs> hey. Good. Boss lady's happy. So give him a clean out. We're going to trade tools to get some racking. And then, yeah. Excited. Exciting times here. So, big job on the cards today. Bit of a surprise for the folks coming over in May. This is awesome. <laughs> That's cool. I'm going to build a little nakamal or a natangura. Basically like a little barley hut for all the uh, Aussies that have been to Bali. So yeah, Carlo's onto that. Got all the wood delivered on Saturday. And... So Carlo, the bloody legend, he's uh, making four posts for the Nut and Gura, what do we call it? The Nut and Gura? Or the Nakamal? <laughs> no cover. No cover. No cover here. <laughs> <Giggles. Woo! laughs> Alright, give it to the professionals, Carlo. <laughs> Kat, how excited are you of our, what do we call them again? Fare. The fare. So I bug it up, or Kat, we didn't order enough wood. No, no, that's how much he asked for. Oh, so we blame it on Carlo? No, he asked for that much. <laughs> the ones that go like this, he was just going to do bush sticks. <laughs> but now we see that he used the decking and it's, and it's not even two inches and you can see it flex with the wind, so we'd rather use timber. You happy with how the house is coming along? Getting there. All our dreams. <laughs> Lots of work from me. Yeah. You've still got a lot to improve on. <laughs> the peace and quiet. This place, it really gives you something. That ocean, rainforest. <laughs> Let's go, big day. Yep. Enjoy! Do you have life jackets? I'm scared. <laughs> How is it? You're already on the piss? <laughs> David Bowie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the count of ready? ready? One, two, three! <laughs> Oh, for sure! Oh, one last big run here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Kiss him, throw him back. What's on the menu, Captain slash Chef slash? We've got uh, teriyaki chicken breast and we've got some beautiful Vanuatu beef skewers. 
with a light dusting of uh, teriyaki on the chicken. No, we're, we're really stoked with it and I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the journey that's been the last couple of years. And uh, yeah, better not relax too long in my hammock. Boss lady, just a little kipper. Absolutely living it out here. Tune's going, birds are chirping. If you can hear them over that music, get me a little safety first, as I tell you guys. Safety never takes a day off. Thanks, Matty Limbrick. But that thing may get done by itself. Anyway, but have a look at that. Look at that view. Bit of smoke, bit of burning going off. You really do live in paradise. <laughs> How good's that view? Sun setting, bit of sanding done. Cables, 50 cent. Got to do underneath. There's always more work. I'm going to build a little thing for the to hide our gas. Need a thing. Cat's done a ton of painting. Now it's us. Pack the stuff away and see you tomorrow. So, sanding a table. I'm gonna do some chairs. Cats doing lots of different things, painting. Before and after. What's that? Nick's in a before and after. Off my chair. Well, we better look at this because I'm in trouble here. Look at that. Hard work. Which ones are before and which ones after? <laughs> Where she lost me. What a pest. No, seriously. Look at the state of these things. That thing has seen better times. So the mad rush, we leave Monday again for three weeks. And we're back here. But we're going to get a few things doled in. Sea containers loaded. Lots of woodwork to do, painting, building stuff. Ah, oh, the absolute joys of loading this thing up and then unloading it. And then packing up your life, packing up. Hey, wouldn't trade it for anything. Love it. Got myself a drop saw, very stoked. Haven't cut a finger, so still, still going right there. And uh, pretending to be a chippy, so life's good. And uh, nearly beer o'clock. Cat's eyeballing me now, so we better get, get into it. little trooper painting this shed that was all moldy so what we're trying to do here is mitigate that mold now it's all up but all the the wood's rotten so we're going to put some of those blocks as you can see in this beautiful section we've got our plastic sheeting so we're hoping to get rid of that have all this white so it should blend in this used to be as you know on bloody episode two or whatever we dug all this out it's a shed, right? So we pumped a lot of money into the property as, you know, the decks, the guttering, the bloody paint, you know. Unfortunately, you can't just go pump money into everything. Um, but yeah, the shed's something that we're going to try to spruce up best we can. Like I said before, we don't want to spend a ton of money and go too crazy with the shed. Anyway, have a look at this. Looking great. Yeah, as you can see, she's been through the wars. But we're going to give her a good spruce up. So there's the blocks from the inside. And we're going to get them all, put three panels of some decking. And then paint it up. Should look brand new. These are our planks of wood. We're going to put on the outside. Right on that outside there. Two and a half widths. Screw him in, Bob's your uncle. Yeah. 
So the beautiful pool. We didn't get much footage of that because I had to leave for work. Uh, Kat was here for a week while they're putting the foundations. Fantastic job, absolutely wrapped with it. I'm in that thing pretty much every day. The pool was something that we definitely were spinning out about the cost. But it's honestly something that, it sits at 27, 28 degrees constantly. Perfect, perfect, just refreshing, cool off. Love it. Sea container, we're gonna paint up. Just had a chat with a local artist, super exciting. The monstrosity, so we're gonna do like some nice artist work, maybe a muted green just to make it sort of blend in. My name's Rob Daniel. I'm um, Vanuatu in the Sefa province. I'm a big fan of street art and graffiti, so yeah, I just love it. And I find uh, art, art to me is more than just uh, art. Yeah, like for me, it's uh, art is a therapy. It's more than art. That's why I, I quit being an art tutor and start doing art. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of the saying. Um, it's 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 in a in the art world. You'd see this pop up a few times. Like buy art and save a crazy person. We are crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> That's all finished. Carlo did a ripper job with his little team down there. So we're hoping that stays up. We've got the, the chicken wire to hopefully cyclone straps to hopefully pull it down and hold it. We got the lookout too. The lookout is just polished, perfect. Uh, everything that we wanted, now we can go sit out there, do some yoga, have a suntan, you name it. It's absolutely incredible down there.